For nature lovers, a crane is a majestic bird with a six foot wingspan. But for our intents and purposes, we'll be focusing on cranes used in construction, powerful machines used for moving heavy objects by suspending them high in the air. We'll also contrast these with derricks and hoists and dive into rigging requirements and procedures. The Occupational Safety and Health Administration, or OSHA, defines types of cranes in Standard 1910, Section 180. Let's briefly discuss the crawler crane, locomotive crane, truck crane, and the wheel-mounted crane. A crane has a boom with a rope attached to a grapple, hook, or magnet used to grab and move objects. A crawler crane consists of an upper area that includes the crane and operator carriage mounted on a crawler-type bottom similar to a moving belt. Locomotive cranes are less versatile as they're designed to work just like their name implies, on locomotive tracks. Their propulsion system is made of wheels, like those on a train, made for movements on tracks. These cranes serve the purpose of moving goods on freight trains, performing track maintenance, or helping with rail accident cleanup. A truck crane is a crane attached to a large truck, so it can go many places that other cranes cannot, including highways. This allows the easy transporting of materials from one site to another. Wheel-mounted cranes are similar to truck cranes as they sit on a base of wheels. However, the crane and operator areas look more like the other cranes. They're generally four-wheel drive vehicles that can move through unpaved and rough terrain areas with ease, meaning less site prep. So what about that difference between cranes and derricks I mentioned? Well, unlike a crane, a derrick has a vertical stationary mass attached to a fixed base. The movable boom uses cables and pulleys connected to the base of the mass to provide movement. OSHA identifies several different types of derricks, mainly differentiated by how the boom, if one exists, is attached. The A-frame derrick consists of the boom being attached to a crossbar that connects between the bottom ends of two upright bars that join at the top, much like the letter A. A basket derrick has no boom at all, and relies on a system of ropes to support the mast system. The Chicago boom derrick is attached to the outside of a structure acting as the mast. There are also several different types of hooks used for hoisting a load, and choosing the correct one for your specific rigging needs is imperative. For instance, in the picture shown here, a non-locking hook is being used. This type of hook is only an acceptable option when the load poses a risk to the workers should they have to unlatch the hook before releasing the load. Unless this hazard exists, a latching hook, like the one pictured here, should be used. Whether you're dealing with a crane or derrick, certain precautions need to be taken to ensure the safety of those working with them, so let's review those next.